What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel for another video or welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Jordan. Thank you for checking out a video. Today I have for you guys my July favorites and also a few products that were just absolutely horrible, like disappointing products that I wanted to throw in. Um, I really want to do a remake of my crap products or disappointing products and make it a whole entire video, but I don't really have too many things like accumulated up lately. I'm the type of person where if I really don't like something, I will donate it or give it away or just return it in exchange for something different. But I know that you guys do love those videos and I've been really addicted to watching those lately. So try to hold me to it. Whenever I don't like something lately, I will set it aside because I do want to do an updated video like that. But I haven't actually done a favorites video in a while and I really just like sharing with you guys more in detail what I've been loving. So today I not only have beauty products, I'm gonna share a little bit of fashion stuff and some shoes and also just like some random products that I've kind of shown here and there, maybe on Snapchat or Instagram. So yeah, we'll get into all the products and also I just wanna let you guys know one more thing. Today I am pre-filming a few videos, so I'm not sure if I've already told you this, but I did just recently open up my own little Amazon store specifically for you guys. So basically what it is, is um, like repeat questions that I always get in my videos, like what lashes I'm wearing or what clothing I'm wearing, what containers I use for meal prep, like when I'm at the gym, what shoes am I wearing. Basically, I've created a little store just for you guys where you can go shop uh, the items that you always see in my videos or that you always see like on Snapchat. I have little categories on there for meal prep and also filming equipment. If you're getting into being a YouTuber, I linked my camera on there and some very inexpensive lighting. There's just like a ton of products on there. Um, and I have used the price match guarantee price tool I think it is to like scan different websites and find you guys the best deal so it's just like a little shop where any of my followers can go check out all the stuff that they see in my videos um, so I'll put the link down below I was like working on it all weekend trying to find like different categories and trying to remember what stuff you guys constantly ask about so pretty much everything that I usually mention you can find there so yeah let's go ahead and get into my favorites first so first up, I do have some brand new shoes, and some of you are probably like, girlfriend, if they're brand new, how are they your favorites? I actually have this exact same pair of shoes in a different color, which I got like six months ago, and they're so comfortable, and I always kept on looking for another color, but I thought they were discontinued. Um, I think through the Nike store, they are discontinued, but I was able to find them at Women's Foot Locker. Um, again, everything I'm mentioning today, I will link below, but for the name, they're called the Pegasus, and they have a bunch of different ones with like black, and then the Nike symbol will be white or pink. Um, but they're super super comfortable they're not very clunky and they don't like add a lot of weight to drag you down at the gym which I love they have really good soles so they are really good for cardio and for running um, and I just think the style on these is so pretty um, I would say size down either size down or I'm not sure if my feet are just like shrinking but I used to always wear a 10 in any type of shoe because I'm very tall but now I wear a nine or a nine and a half so I would say if you are not ordering online definitely try to try them on in the store just so you can get the right size but I just thought that these were really cute and now I own them in both colors so next up I have something very functional and very cute that I've been using for my little guy I want to incorporate more like toddler favorites let me know if you guys would want that maybe I could do like a whole video on products that I love for my son like affordable stuff that I buy for him if you guys have kids let me know if that would be interesting to you um, but basically I'm trying to train him right now to sleep in his own room he always comes and crawls in my bed which I don't mind because I am single right now and any time that I can get to cherish with just loving and hugging my kid and waking up next to him I'm gonna take that time like you know life is short and I want to spend as much time with Christian as possible but I do want to get a little bit more strict on him as he grows up and really train him that he has to sleep in his room so basically he was always stealing my pillows which are really really big and I'm not sure if that's really too great for a toddler or a baby's like neck and back so I was just researching on Amazon something that had the best reviews that would be a cute little toddler pillow for him that would fit right in his bed or fit in his crib so I came across this one Again, it's just from Amazon, I will link it below. And they also do sell this cover separately, which I thought was so cute. I just chose the baby blue uh, because he's a boy, hello. But they do have other colors. Um, super affordable, very easy to machine wash. It's just like a really nice material. And this is probably like the comfiest toddler pillow I've ever like put my own head on or like felt. Super squishy. I like that it's really small because you can actually take this really good for travel. Um, if your kid is like in a booster seat or they're a little bit bigger and they want to like lean up against the window or anything or on an airplane It's not going to be huge to take up a lot of room So this is from the company angel baby um, and they are just sold on Amazon Like I said, I'll put the link below if you guys have kids or toddlers 
but they had amazing, amazing reviews. Anything that I purchase for Christian, I always check the reviews first. Um, just because, you know, I want him to have the best. And I know so many of you have commented that you do have little kids, so I would highly recommend this. It's a very affordable, great investment, and I will put the website down below for you guys. The next up, I just have two like bralette kind of lingerie pieces. I know this is like a super hot topic with you guys. Anytime I make a bra video or lingerie video, you guys are genuinely like interested in it. Not just because there's boobs in the thumbnail or anything, but I get so many comments from you guys asking where to purchase like very affordable lingerie and just really cute items. I'm very like, I like to search through Instagram and see what other people are wearing um, with like lacy shirts and things with lots of straps and like, you know. So I feel like I'm kind of a pro on where to like purchase certain things. So I recently got this purple one here, which is so pretty. I absolutely love how there's two straps coming up on your chest. It just gives it a lot of detailing. This one's pretty much a bra, honestly, unless you wanna show your entire stomach, but it does not go down like a crop top. It's gonna cut you off right underneath there. You maybe get an inch of material, if that. Um, so just know that if you don't wanna show off your whole stomach, you could wear this underneath a shirt or a cardigan over or something, but it is gorgeous. It just has so much lace. I think dark purple and dark blue goes really good for people who have darker hair. Um, I did get this one at Windsor. I believe it was like 20 bucks. It's definitely more pricey than Forever 21 or Charlotte Russe, which I don't really like because you guys know I do love shopping on a budget and just recommending the most affordable things. But then again, like certain pieces that I know I will wear over and over, I'm okay spending a little bit more as long as I'm gonna get my use out of it. Like nothing crazy, but you know, if it's a few more bucks and I know I'm gonna wear it all the time, that's fine. And then I did also pick up this one from Windsor, which is an exact dupe of my blue one from Victoria's Secret, which you guys constantly ask about. This one right here. I constantly get questions where that's from. I think that might be sold out now. I'm not sure if that was like on the huge Victoria's Secret sale that they had. They had a few multiple colors and then I noticed, cause I went back to get the dark purple one and my size was sold out. So if those are sold out, I believe they run you about the same price because this was 32 bucks. It's plain black and it does have the lace on the bottom. The cups are built in, which is great. So it does act as a bra. You do not need to wear a bra with this. And then you just have the lace detailing on the back, which I just think is gorgeous. The next I just have two beauty favorites that I've been using every single day. This one right here is a perfume by Mariah Carey. Um, it's called Dreams. It's just basically like a medium. I don't think this is the travel size version, but I know there's another bigger version. This is like the medium one that they offer. The packaging on here is so cute. Classic Mariah, hello, with the butterflies right there. I wasn't even sure if I was gonna like this scent, but on my way out of Target a few weeks ago, this was on clearance, and I decided to pick it up, and now I've been wearing it every day. I think it just smells amazing, and it was very cheap, so if you wanna get this exact one, I will try to find the link below for you, or just check your Target, because um, it was on clearance, so hopefully you can snag it on a great deal. And then the beauty product that I've been wearing every day is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. It's gonna be this right here. I've seen a lot of reviews on this. Also, a few people were commenting in my last video about using cruelty-free makeup products. I have looked online and seen articles that Maybelline is cruelty-free, and then I've seen other things that say they're not unless they're certified, unless there's like a little bunny at the bottom of their products. I'm not exactly positive. I'm still like completely educating myself on this stuff. So if you know, and you can just leave it nicely down in the comments, that would be so great. I really do appreciate it. I am totally trying to be more conscious whenever I'm purchasing products and just like doing my part. Um, so if you could let me know, that would be amazing. But this just comes with a little sponge, a huge mirror, which is amazing for travel. And then I got a medium shade in number 30, Warm Nude, because I did have a self-tan last week. It's kind of worn off by now. Um, but this is a really good powder. It does not leave me oily. I blot with it like throughout the entire day, and I have been wearing this every day. Then another beauty favorite that I have is actually a little value kit, which is going to be sold at Ulta through Julep. Now, I've always heard of Julep for their nail polishes. I wasn't really too aware that they made cosmetics. And you guys, they make amazing cosmetics. You guys know I normally only recommend drugstore makeup just because I like to be conscious of everyone on a budget. However, this is a value kit, so you're getting a ton of high-end makeup for a much cheaper price, which is just so great. Um, you can snag this kit for 39 bucks. I'm not gonna go too far into it today just because I am doing an entire video review of me using this kit with a get ready with me date night look so I can show you all the products in action. 
but you're basically getting like $75 of products for 40 bucks and it's like a mauve kit so all of the tones in there are like dark purple which again I think just goes great with brown hair so leave a comment below if you're excited for that video it should be coming in like two to three days I'm just editing it right now but I show all those products in action and yeah I'm just stoked to like recommend them to you guys because they are on a budget then I just want to end with a few products that I've really been super disappointed with that I really did not like this past month not all of them are beauty but I thought I would just throw like everything in here and let you guys know um, so the first thing is actually a Keurig like a k-cup for coffee which is like super random I know but whatever this is my channel I can I feel like I can throw in any type of products that I want um, so you guys know I love coffee and I usually just have the regular Dunkin Donuts or the donut shop brand or also the just regular like Starbucks pike roast but I decided to feel a little sassy at the store the other day and pick up the uh, k-cup Starbucks caramel version and you guys, this is absolutely disgusting. Do not get this. I thought I would like it because I really like vanilla lattes or vanilla lattes with like a little caramel boost popped in there, like a caramel, uh, what's it called? Like a few pumps of caramel or something, but no, these are absolutely gross. I don't even think I can return them because I did open it. And then I also got these Starbucks K-Cups in the little vanilla flavor, and those are also disgusting. So I guess I'm just good with like regular roasts with like my normal soy creamer or coconut creamer or whatever but that's gross don't buy those and then the next thing that I didn't like um, I believe these are called the Ardell or no the Demi Wispy 2.0s someone please tell me if I'm right they're basically just little lashes here which okay I love the regular Ardell Demi Wispies they're so pretty and I also love the Ardell Demi Wispy double ups which are the number 206 which is what I'm wearing today which I love however when I purchased these I thought they were the original wispies which they're not I guess they're like the 2.0 and you can't even tell that you're wearing lashes which is what I don't like because the other day I got completely all ready to um, talk to you guys on snapchat take Instagram pictures and just be on camera and you really need lashes that really stand out on camera if you wear a very small wispy lash it's like unfortunate but on camera it barely doesn't even show up um, and I took a lot of time that day to do like my eyeliner perfect and stuff because we know I'm not very good at eyeliner um, and you know just try to look glam to take pics and then I took all the pics and I was like disappointed because my eye makeup didn't stand out as I hoped it would just because these were super basic so anytime I film I just like to have very dramatic lashes on so these are the double ups which I love which you can find at Ulta so yeah I was not feeling those and my last disappointing product, I'm going to insert a picture of it here because it's in my son's backpack because I gave it to my mom and she's watching Christian today, so I sent it over there. But it's a Pantene hairspray, which I cannot even tell you guys, cannot even put into words how much I hate it. It's the most disgusting hairspray I have ever used, ever, ever. I've purchased hairsprays at the dollar store that are better than this. It has cute packaging, it was at Target, I was like, yeah, I'll get this, it's around the $8 mark, maybe it'll be a little bit better of a hairspray than the stuff I usually use. No, false, wrong, negative, deceased, no. You guys, it was literally disgusting. Basically, when you spray it out, it just gets all bubbly and like, it like bubbles up on your hair and makes a really weird noise whenever it sprays out. It's not like a normal like hairspray hose. It's very weird. I don't know. I'm going to put the exact name down below. Do yourself a favor and don't buy it. I just honestly thought it was disgusting. So I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. So anyways, now that this video has been super long, that'll do it for most of my current like favorites and obsessions and just a few products that I was not really loving. I will put everything down below. Also be sure to check out my new Amazon store if you are interested just in anything that I've ever shown in videos or just products that I use in my everyday life. Everything is on there. And if you are new, I would love if you would subscribe here to my channel and I will have a new video for you guys tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Bye.